The difference between a cut, a puncture, and abrasion is pretty obvious. Ouch. Luckily, safety manufacturers make PPE to protect against all of these injuries. And standards development organizations like ANSI and ISEA provide testing to rate how well that PPE works. But choosing the right PPE with the right protection for your application can be a little less obvious. It helps to know different ways agencies test to simulate each type of injury. To measure cut resistance, a carefully calibrated machine drags a sharp blade across the material with a specific amount of pressure. The amount of pressure needed to break through the fabric determines cut level. For puncture resistance, another machine pokes a metal stylus about the width of a pencil tip into the fabric. There's a separate test to determine needle stick resistance that uses a much thinner stylus. The amount of force needed to puncture through the material determines puncture level. A third type of machine measures abrasion resistance by rotating fabric under two abrasive weighted wheels that scrape against the material. The number of revolutions needed to break through determines abrasion level. Keep in mind, these are controlled tests in a lab environment. Real life can be very different. And you may need a combination of various types of protection. If you're not sure what you need, consult a safety expert who can advise you on the best practices for your application and environment. Because when you're talking about the safety of your workers, the only cut, punctured, or abraded materials you want to see are in the testing lab. But it's more like a regular ouch. It's not like I don't have to be so dramatic. <laughs> Ooh, I want more! Give me more!